Welcome to worship. We're going to have a commercial break from our outreach team to tell you a little bit about a new outreach project we are participating in here at Portage United Church of Christ. Enjoy this Mission Minute. Wouldn't you agree that weekend should be fun, not a time to be hungry? For too many students on the free or reduced lunch program, once the school week ends, they are not sure if they will have things at home to eat for lunch or dinner. I'm Nancy Honeyset from the Outreach Ministry Team, and I'm a retired teacher. One of the very first volunteer jobs I took after I retired was for communities in school to help distribute weekend food packs on Friday into some of the students' lockers. The students would peer out their classroom doors as we passed by with our dolly full of food packs. I was amazed how excited even the youngest children would become about getting food. I was not used to kids caring that much about food unless it was a candy bar or other sugary snacks. These were kids getting excited about packs of oatmeal. Even more students will now need these weekend food packs with the recession caused by the virus. Lowe's and Fishes and Community and School are partnering with regular food services in the schools to make sure that students still receive food. Will you help fund this program? Click on the flyer in the All Church email for more details. Then write a check to PUCC or donate online under Missions and write Food Packs on the memo line. Then just imagine that happy smile on some students' faces when they can look forward to lunch. If you would like to join us in supporting, please be sure to go to our website and click that donate button. We would be grateful for your support. When Fanny Crosby heard Phoebe Knapp play that tune on the piano in 1873, she wrote the words to Blessed Assurance right on the spot. It is the most popular of around 9,000 hymns. Welcome to Music Sunday. We will share a variety of music today, but perhaps the most well-known hymn of all time is Amazing Grace. The composer of the music is unknown, but the words were mostly written by John Newton. John Newton was a man who knew both the bondage of sin and the liberating power of the Holy Spirit. He was nurtured by a devout Christian mother who prayed that her only son would become a preacher. But she died when John was only six years old, and he eventually became a sailor after the example of a sea captain father. He sailed for places where he believed he could sin freely, as he put it. The last verse of Amazing Grace was first recorded in Harriet Beecher Stowe's influential 1852 anti-slavery novel, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Three verses were sung by the character of Tom in his hour of deepest crisis. He sings the sixth and fifth verses in that order, but then Stowe included another verse, not written by John Newton, but that had been passed down orally in African American communities for at least 50 years. It was one of the verses in a song called Jerusalem, My Happy Home which was first published in a 1790 book called A Collection of Sacred Ballads. 
John Newton eventually became a captain of a slave ship, and after his conversion to Christianity, he served as the minister of a church for 44 years before his death at the age of 83. Here's what he had inscribed on his tombstone. John Newton, once an infidel and libertine, a servant of slaves in Africa, was by the rich mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, preserved, restored, pardoned, and appointed to preach the faith he had long labored to destroy. When this poem was penned nearly 250 years ago by John Newton, it was not titled Amazing Grace. Its original title was Faith's Review and Expectation. And in that spirit, let's review that first verse. What is so amazing about grace? Grace is defined in Greek as the divine influence upon the heart and its reflection through one's life. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9 says, The Lord is not slow in doing what was promised, the way some people understand slowness. But God is being patient with you. God does not want anyone to be lost, but God wants all people to change their hearts and lives. Romans chapter 5, verse 12 says, Sin came into the world because of what one man did, and with sin came death. This is why everyone must die, because everyone sinned. But this is where grace comes in. Romans chapter 5 says, But God's free gift is not like Adam's sin. Many people died because of the sin of that one man, but the grace from God was much greater. Many people received God's gift of life by the grace of one man, Jesus Christ. So as one sin of Adam brought the punishment of death to all people, one good act that Christ did makes all people right with God, and that brings true life for all. Sin once used death to rule us, but God gave more of his grace so that grace could rule by making people right with him. And this brings life forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you use your mouth to say Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. And that is amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now am found Was blind, but now I see T'was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious is Tis grace that 
Dear God, our hearts are weary. We are worn down by sickness and loss. Our country is being torn apart with political fighting. Our country is being torn apart in our quest for social justice. We mourn the passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. We pray for our leaders. We pray for peace. We pray for understanding. We pray to have us feel your amazing grace. Heal us, Lord, and give us strength to do your will. Amen. Our Father. of God's word. So let us go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage, hold fast to that which is good, render to no one evil for evil, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honor all persons. And may the blessings of God, creator of all, mother of life and father of the universe, the grace of Jesus Christ, our healer and redeemer, and the inspiration and sustaining breath of the Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.